today should be proud of the fact that you are helping to make our community beautiful and give our community strength. Welcome to Local Motion, Episode 8. It's hard to believe that 60 years ago, Park Allen was a brand new suburb right on the edge of the city. Although many families had one car by then, Local Motion was still the way of life for most. We came in 52, of course, in that June, and it was rainy weather then, and there was nothing here except a house on a plot of gumbo. The neighbors were wonderful. Everybody helped everybody else, you know, when they, when it was, they were needed. So that, you know, over the years, things got better, and the trees were planted, and now you see Park Allen as it is. But it took a lot of work on a lot of persons doing it, you know. Doreen's daughter Sharon walked to school. When Sharon got a little older, Doreen took a job downtown. So I started in 1954 at Burks, and it was the previous year that they finally got the bus to come up here to the corner here by the park. Most of the time I used the bus. Well, Edmonton Transit just celebrated our centennial last year. So that's 100 years of serving Edmontonians. So it started off as a streetcar system, and it was very centralized, but so was the activity. So it was very convenient for people to use. While Park Allen's first families were building their community, Edmonton continued to grow and evolve, and so did our transit system. Post-war, World War II, we saw the, the uh, onrush of, of uh, suburbia, it's very low density residential. For us to, to travel through there, picking up a few people, it, it, it's not very efficient when you look at the number of kilometers being traveled, the travel time for the passengers. So what you're seeing now is some discussion uh, in the work that's being done on the transportation master plan and on Focus Edmonton, which looks at the land use uh, in the future. For us to have a more uh, compact, uh, uh, sustainable development, what pieces are needed in the transportation uh, system to uh, ensure people have that kind of mobility that's needed for their day-to-day -day lives. Yeah, I've been taking the bus down to downtown and the LRT to work, and then on the way home, since I have a little more time at the end of the day, I take the LRT all the way to South Campus and walk home. We went shopping to Southgate using the bus, coming, coming home on the bus, that worked fine. I've been doing some uh, experimenting this week with taking my bike on the LRT. So I'm discovering that that's, that's actually pretty easy. Yeah, we're definitely not considering using the car. That's, that's, for the most part, that's not an option. If we want to do something, we think about how, how to get there without the car. It's a very exciting time. I mean, the, the Park Allen pilot project is, is just a, a microcosm of that. But we've also got a lot of other discussions taking place in 2009 that are looking at the, the bigger picture. Join us in the coming weeks as Park Allen becomes a focus for city planners from around the world. And local motion continues with more celebrations.